What's good, YouTube? It's your boy DJ Liftoff with the JP Way, and you don't want to miss this flight. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you all four easy to learn scratch patterns. Two of them on the easy side, two of them a little bit more on the intermediate side. However, all of them you'll be able to use to transition into songs. So, without further ado, let's get it started. So first, let me go ahead and show you the first two, then we'll break those down. Okay, so first what you're going to want to do is load up one track on one deck whatever deck that you're gonna be using as the actual track that you're not gonna be practicing scratching with. Right here, as you can see, I just have this um, song just looping over and over, and I'm using this one right here as my drop point. Then you're gonna load up whatever song that you wanna practice scratching with. Now, you can use um, a song that starts with a vocal, or you can use something that starts with a kick. Obviously, you see here that I have a kick, but I also have like a little bit of tail at the end of this kick. Um, so it's not just like a super hard kick where it's like a super short sound. Although for these first two scratch patterns, even if it is like a short kick, that will still work. Or like I said, you can use a vocal as well. So if we're counting the last four beats before we drop on the one, these two scratch patterns in the beginning are both going to start on that last third beat on the and. So our last four beats going one and two and three and so right on that and we're gonna have this for the first scratch pattern and then for the second scratch pattern we're gonna have so as i get ready to play this track we're gonna use these last four beats here starting on this two technically obviously this is bar two but we're just gonna pretend this is the last four beats before the actual one so one two three four one and like i said we're gonna start on the third beat on the and so let's go ahead and count that out one and two and three and four and two and two and three and okay so there we have the first scratch pattern so we're gonna start this with half of a chirp so all we're gonna do is like do a forward scratch as we close the crossfader so all we have is this starting with the open pushing forward right then with the crossfader still closed we're gonna pull back on our platter then we're gonna open our crossfader and then we're just gonna do one chirp scratch and then drop. Actually, sorry, that's two chirp scratches and then we're gonna drop. Okay, so starting on that three and, again, we're just pushing forward, closing the crossfader, pulling back on the platter while the crossfader is closed. Then we're gonna open it. Then we have two chirp scratches. Then we're gonna drop. So one more time. One and two and three and four and two and two and three and. Now for the second scratch pattern, we're gonna start with the scribble scratch. Then we're gonna go into the half chirp where we pull back without the sound. Then we're gonna do one chirp scratch and then we're gonna drop it. So it's gonna look just like this. One more time, that's scribble, half of a chirp, pulling that platter back, opening the crossfader, then one chirp scratch. One and two and three and four and two and two and three. Again, one more time. Two and two and three and So again, we're gonna start with the scribble scratch, which is just two very fast baby scratches. Then we're gonna have our half chirp, where we go forward scratch, close our crossfader, pull back, then we're gonna open the crossfader, one chirp, one full chirp, and then we're gonna drop. And again, like I said, you can definitely use this using other sounds as well. Here's an example of a different sound. Or here is the second one. Now let's move on to the second two scratch patterns, which are going to sound like this. All right, so here's the first scratch pattern. All 
And then here will be the second scratch pattern. So for the second two scratch patterns, they're actually going to start on beat one of the last four beats. So if we're lining this up here for this example, we're going to start right on this two, which technically will be your last four beats. So for the first scratch pattern, we're going to start with the chirp scratch. Then we're going to have a forward scratch and pull back slow. So it's going to look just like this. Okay, one more time. Chirp scratch. Forward and back. We're going to push forward, leaving this crossfader open. Push forward, and then we're going to pull back. So on this one, you're definitely gonna wanna use um, a sound that definitely isn't like super short. You're gonna have to get something that just has a little bit of tail on it. So even this other track that I had before, I could even use this one, even though it's a kick, because it still has a little bit of tail on the kick. So we're gonna have that chirp scratch, forward scratch, pull back slowly. Then we're gonna do the exact same thing again. Then we're going to have two chirp scratches and then drop. So slowly, it's going to sound just like this. But do pay attention to the actual timing of the pullbacks. So the first pullback is going to be a little bit quicker. The second one is going to be a little bit slower. So pay attention as I do it right here. Okay, you see how that second one is a little bit slower? And then I'm going to do it one more time with this sound as well, or this song. Now for the second scratch pattern, you're also going to want to pay close attention to the timing. Um, so let me go ahead and do it one more time. One more time. Okay, so for this scratch pattern, we're going to start again right on that last four beats, on that beat one of the last four beats before your actual one. For here, that's going to be right here, just for practice purposes. So for this, all we're going to do is we're going to start with our crossfader open, and we're going to just let our platter go or do a forward scratch. So we're going to go start with that. As soon as we let that go, we're going to pull back and then we're going to have a chirp scratch. Okay, so again, we're letting it go, pulling it back immediately. We have a chirp scratch. Then we're going to do one more forward scratch and then another pullback. Then we're going to have a forward scratch again, pull back and then a chirp scratch. Okay, so in real speed, it sounds just like this. One more time. So one thing to remember for this scratch pattern is when we get to this part here, that last drop right there. So we have da, 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 da. That drop right there, you want to make sure that's landing on the third beat. If, as long as you land that on the third beat and then you pull back and then do two chirp scratches, you'll always make sure or you'll always land on that one. So again, that last drop is on that third beat. So then when you pull back and then you do these last two chirp scratches and when you drop, you'll be right on the one. So now let me go ahead and show you one more time in full speed. And there you have it. Those are the four scratch patterns. Too easy to a little bit more on the intermediate level. All definitely require some hand control. So go ahead and practice those and I'll catch y'all in the next video.